Hey there, this month we'll be focusing on the highball. A highball is a type of drink that is lengthened by a sparkling liquid, whether it's soda water, uh, it could be champagne, it can just be like Coca-Cola. Uh, the first one we'll start off with is the most basic blueprint of what a highball is. Uh, it's one that I drank a lot when I was in Japan. So hang out a little bit, let me show you guys how to make a Toki highball. Let's make a Toki highball. So I already have my glass chilled. I just took it out of the freezer and inside is already a column of ice uh, that I made myself and carved myself and it should be clear. Uh, first thing I'm gonna add is two ounces of Toki. This is a Japanese whiskey that I've used before. It's really nice, slightly malty, very subtly smoky, very elegant. Pouring that in. And to make a highball, all you do is to add a little bit of soda water, any sparkling beverage. Traditionally, in Toki highball, they'll be using uh, maybe Fever Tree or another sparkling beverage. I'll be using Topo Chico, which is my favorite sparkling soda. It's almost so bubbly that it's a little spicy. It's really, really good. So I'm filling it up, uh, making sure not to touch the ice because I don't want to destroy the bubbles. What I'm gonna do next, take a spoon and not stir, but just bring it up and down the glass just to make sure it all combines. That should be good. So as you see, the ice is actually clear now. And that's the nice thing when um, it gets wet, this type of ice just almost looks like it's invisible, which is really elegant. And then to finish this off, we're gonna garnish it with a lemon peel. Let's see if I can get a nice. Oh, there's not a good one. Got a different one. Nice thick swath of lemon. Sometimes uh, they'll garnish it with yuzu, sometimes it's shiso leaf. I just have this nice lemon here that I got from a yard. Or rub it on the outside and then leave it on top. And that's it. There you have a Toki highball. In 1923, uh, a man by the name of Shinjiro Tori uh, dreamed of making a Japanese whiskey that was subtle uh, but complex, very elegant, and something that would rival that of the Scotch style whiskeys. So that was how the first uh, Suntory distil distillery opened. And around the 1950s, uh, by then it got really popular and Japanese whiskey was enjoyed in a form of a highball, just like this. When I was in Japan in, 19, in 2019 uh, with my friend John, we definitely saw the popularity of highballs over there. They didn't just have whiskey highballs, they had shochu highballs, they had a lot of different types, of, even sake highballs, I believe. And we definitely enjoyed many, many highballs over there, in addition to their frothy, creamy beers that they had on tap. And they were so popular, uh, the, the, the Toki highball, that um, the distillery created this apparatus, kind of like a, like a dispenser that would actually dispense uh, whiskey and the uh, sparkling soda at the same time, just to kind of create an uh, even bubblier, more fresh version of the drink. And that was also very common. And, so common that actually if you walk into like a family mart or like a 7-eleven you could buy this pre-canned uh and in their in their beer aisles so let's taste it let's see what it tastes like yeah it's refreshing i mean it tastes like whiskey but it's lengthened it's bubbly the topo chico super crisp it maintains its bubbles and that's why it's my favorite sparkling soda you get the hint of the uh lemon aroma when you're drinking this it's really nice and 
it's a great alternative to just drinking whiskey. So let's say you're eating steak and you want to drink a whiskey drink. Whiskey might be too strong to pair with steak. So if you put it in a highball format, you get the same notes of whiskey, but it just lengthens and lightens it up a little bit and almost makes it more aromatic with all the bubbles. So you guys should make this one. It's so easy. It takes like two minutes to make. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Cocktail Notes. Cheers. Thank you.